Well, after the deadly terror attacks in Paris by ISIS on Friday, a News West 9 viewer reached out to us. He says a Twitter account recently tweeted him back about the possibility of attacks right here in Texas. Alejandra Guzman went to investigate Alejandra. Crystal Trevor, the attacks killed more than 129 people last Friday, but Ernest Acosta says he was concerned after he says a Twitter user reached out to him after he said an event like this would never happen in Texas. Little did Acosta know he had followers who thought otherwise. I felt, I guess, alarmed, and I wanted to reach out to people to let them know that they reached out to me. However, Acosta says he doesn't know whether or not the user behind the Twitter account is affiliated with ISIS. When we asked if he thought about responding, this was what he said. I didn't want to ask him if he was because, you know, I didn't want to, I guess, make him mad or... <laughs> I mean, you never know. They can just send somebody to my house. They shouldn't take their threats lightly because they do, they do go through with what they plan. On the other hand, Acosta says he tried to do the right thing. He notified the Odessa and Midland Police Departments, hoping they would follow up. They can investigate him, his profile, and see where he's connected to. Maybe they can pinpoint where he's at or maybe, you know, arrest him. Maybe he's in the United States. Who knows? You know, I mean, because they don't take that lightly, you know making threats. News West 9 reached out to local law enforcement agencies. They couldn't comment on the situation as this is a federal issue. News West 9 also reached out to the FBI officials in El Paso, but they have not gotten back to us. Alejandro Guzman, News West 9.